All right, hey, this is Hans, and it's time for the Ramen Raiders Top 10 Japanese Instant Noodles of All Time 2023 Edition. So it's been five years since I've come out with one of these lists for Japan. And the main reason for that is just the fact that these varieties change so quickly. You have varieties in Japan that come out for three months and go away. And that's very common. Maybe a year and go away. Maybe just like a month and go away. So I'm hoping that the bulk of these are still available to you. If they're not, then I don't know, but I'm trying to keep to things that have come out within the last two years, maybe, in hopes that you'll be able to get them should you want to. Anyways, let's get started. In at number 10 from Higashi Maru, we have their seafood Sara Udon. Now, this is something completely different. So what you do is you take the noodles, which are very, very thin and crisp, and you lay them down on a plate. And then you prepare the sauce, vegetables, and meats. And you pour them over the noodles. You don't cook the noodles, mind you. So what happens is as the meal progresses, the crunchiness of the noodle ends up sucking up some of that broth and becoming soft. You've got a dual textured, kind of meal going on and it's really good and there's this version there's another version that they make there might even be more i've seen this in big packs i've seen it in cups but definitely a really fascinating and unique variety from japan in at number nine we have marutai with their kumamoto tankatsu ramen now this one you start out with a straight noodle some of the best varieties on this list have straight noodles uh and the noodles kind of have this floweriness to them they, they, they just kind of almost have like this powder sensation when you eat them. It's super good. And the broth is rich, giving, super tasty. Yeah, this, this, this is for you. In at number eight, there's a lot of names to this one, but this is basically a Nissen Shrimp Tantanmen. This has a lot of garnish with it, and it really doesn't need any extras outside of the bowl and pack. Uh, you've got all sorts of different flavors going on with it and mostly a shrimp prawn kind of thing that is really elegant, really flavorful and I absolutely love it and I really hope it's still on the market. I'd love to try it again and I think you definitely should. In at number seven, we've got Maratai with their Hakata Tonkatsu, which is, this one's very easy to find. You'll find this all over the place, but this one, again, you've got a straight noodle that's very good, and you've got a tonkatsu broth, which is very savory, nice pork and garlic flavors intermingling, nice oiliness. Everything about this is nice. So yeah, be nice to yourself. Give it a try. In at number six, we've got one from Itsuki, and this is their Kumamoto Red Spicy Ramen. This is just basically like a spicy tonkatsu, really rich broth, really nice amount of spiciness. And it's a beautiful looking broth as well. So garnish it up, make it, eat it. You're gonna love this one. In at number five, we have Miyojo with their hybrid noodle voice variety. This one has a scallop and chicken flavor that is second to none. Absolutely excellent stuff. Beautiful noodle, beautiful garnish. Yeah, uh, the bowl <laughs> didn't look so beautiful, but it kind of got beat up during the shipping. But this is absolutely spot on, wonderful stuff if you can get it. At number four, we've got one in collaboration of 7-Eleven and Miyojo. This is their Ryu Shanghai Spicy Miso variety. This one's really good, excellent chew on the noodle. And it's got just this little spicy blob that when you stir it in, it just makes everything so much better. It's chashu and you've got Naruto-maki. Everything comes together so well, worth eating immediately. In at number three, we have Nishiyama Saimen with their miso ramen. This came in a dual box. So it had, it was just like a souvenir box. It had miso and shoyu, and the miso was absolutely spectacular. Wonderful noodle, broth was nice and hearty, flavorful, full-bodied. Really like this one quite a bit, and yeah, if you can find it, I highly recommend it. In it, number two, we have Peyong with their Kyushu Tonkatsu Yakisoba. Now, this one's really interesting. The noodle is very, very fine. 
and it only takes one minute to steep this in the tray. And I think this is absolutely the best Taeyang variety I've ever had. Very nice flavor to it. Tastes like tonkatsu with no broth. And it just sings. It's so good. Highly recommend it. Get this if you can find it. And in at number one, we have Ipudo with their Karaka Spicy Ramen. This stuff blew my mind. I had this one recently. The noodle is thinner, it's good. It's This noodle is a shelf stable fresh kind of thing. So it looks and feels a lot like real fresh noodles. Doesn't take long to cook, maybe like 30, 45 seconds I think for this one. The broth on this, savory, succulent tonkatsu with some nice color to it. A little bit of spiciness. The thing that really brings it all together is the miso and mincemeat that you can see in this little blob in the middle of the bowl. Wow, this is like one of the most tasty things I've ever had. And that's why this is at the top of this list. It's just spectacular stuff. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, if you go and look in the post for this one, you'll see where you can get it. Uh, it's really, really good and I can't recommend it more. Absolutely wonderful stuff. I'm telling all my friends, I love it. You should try it. All right, well, there we are. The new 2023 Japanese list. Oh, very cool. I, I've, I've been really, really worried about making a list of Japanese varieties for a while, but then I just the other day just thought, ah, screw it, just make a Japanese list. People have been wanting it for a long time, so here it is and I hope you enjoyed. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.